today we are going to talk about pattern along path and in follow-up videos we are going to use the theory we've learned from here to illustrate a vesicle and the process of exocytosis. If you like what I'm doing please consider subscribing and feel free to leave your comments and requests below for more awesome content. I'm always going to find time to address them. Pattern along path uses a path or pattern and stretches and or repeats it along a skeleton or backbone orientation path. Pattern along path can be accessed in two ways. One way is using the path effect editor through live path effects or LPE. Here the resulting objects are usually going to take the attributes like fill, line width, etc. of the orientating path. The advantage here is that both the pattern and the path you used for orientation can be edited at a later time. Another way will be to use the extensions menu. This has the advantage of not generally relying on paths and it will leave certain connecting nodes in a segment as they are and will not alter them. On the contrary, using the LPE of Path Effect Editor will cause bends on some segments connected by a node. We are going to see both possibilities in this and in the next videos. Before I continue, I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Schweinsbraten Hundert, who requested. The motivation is that in the previous tutorial, when we used the bend effect, some objects were skewed and did not look natural. He wanted to know how one could get a more natural look. Let us begin by using the Bezier tool and drawing a wave. I have a link in the description on how you can draw a wave. Let us draw a circle using the ellipse tool. Hit the space bar to select it. Always verify this is on top by selecting and raising the selection to the top up here. Hit N to access the nodes. Come up here and choose Convert Selected Object to Path. Then take Ctrl C to copy it into the clipboard. Now go to the orientating path you want it to go onto. Go to Path, Path Effects, then hit this plus sign here. Search in this window that opens for Pattern Along Path and select it. Then select Add. In this new window that comes up, we have different options here under Pattern Source. And these are Edit on Canvas, Copy Path, Paste Path, Link to Path on Clipboard. Here under Pattern Copies, we have Single, Stretched, and we'll leave all of these other options at their default for now. Since we copied the object we converted to a path, we want to choose Paste Path up here. Now we see it has taken the pattern and made a single stretch on our skeleton path. We can now go ahead and choose the other options under Pattern Copies and see what comes out of them. And how can you edit the object? If you select the object and hit N to access the nodes, you're going to see the orienting path in red in the background. You can grab this and alter it to alter the shape. Try this out and see how awesome it is. The next possibility we'll see in the next video is the pattern along path extensions, the advantages of which we talked about at the beginning of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. If you find what I'm doing useful, please consider subscribing and leave your comments and request below for more awesome tutorials. I look forward to seeing you around in my next video.